Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about what is the fastest 0 to 60 time possible. You guys like math, right? And we're going to be discussing this for a street car using only, you know, regular street tires uh, on an all-wheel drive vehicle. All-wheel drive would of course be necessary for maximum acceleration, uh, but using street tires, not, you know, some race car or slapping a rocket on the back of the vehicle and getting, you know, a faster time. So street car, street legal, and kind of the logic going into this that you need to understand how I'm going to get this number is looking at braking distances. So we want to find out what is the peak acceleration possible on street tires for a vehicle, and then we can take that number to determine, well, how long does it take at that acceleration to reach 60 miles an hour? Okay, so the way I'm going to find out what that number is, is by looking at braking distances, because braking distances can show us the peak deceleration of a car. If your car can lock up its wheels uh, under braking, then you can hit peak deceleration. So right before the wheels lock up, that's going to be the fastest you're able to slow down. That's the tire's peak grip. And so we can look at examples out there of cars which have slowed down in the shortest distance, take that peak deceleration, turn that into acceleration, and then find out how long it takes to get from 0 to 60. Now there are going to be some assumptions there. We're going to ignore air drag from 60 to 0. Air is going to help slow a vehicle down from 60 to 0. So the acceleration number that I get out of that is going to be slightly higher than realistic. Uh, but we're also going to ignore downforce for the 0 to 60 time, so that can kind of counter it a little bit. Because, you know, once you get up to 40, 50 miles an hour, that downforce can help you accelerate faster. And so if you have the power, of course. So let's get into the math for this. I don't have my marker. Where's my marker? Oh, man. Okay, so looking at some stats from Motor Trend, they did like the top 20 uh, vehicles which had the quickest braking from 60 miles per hour to zero. Um, and so the LFA, the Porsche 918, the Nissan GTR, they were all able to stop in 94 feet, which is very impressive. The Corvette ZR1 and Z06 were able to stop in 91 feet. Um, and surprisingly, the 2014 Stingray convertible was able to stop in just 90 feet. So demolishing uh, these supercars, uh, and you know, you've got the top down and you're relaxing. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, this, the one we're looking at here is 90 feet. Um, and I realize some of you are going to be angry that I'm using Imperial units, but you clicked on a video that said, what is the fastest zero to 60 time, which, you know, very commonly refers to miles per hour. So you got yourself into that trap. Now, what we have here is the equation for uh, braking distance. If you've watched my video on braking distances, you'll know where this comes from. If you want to know where it comes from, you can watch that video. Anyways, distance equals one half velocity squared divided by acceleration. So this is your initial velocity. So we know that our braking distance is 90 feet. So we've got 90. We're going to set that equal to one half our initial velocity, which is 60 miles per hour, but we want it in feet so we can keep units consistent. So 88 feet per second, that's our conversion. That's going to be squared divided by acceleration. And so you can solve for A, and that will give you 1.336. Uh, geez, it's actually going to give you uh, 43 feet per second squared. Uh, and then you divide that by 32.2. Uh, that's the gravitational constant, 9.81 meters per second squared or 32.2 feet per second squared. Uh, so when you divide 43 by 32.2 feet per second squared, you get 1.336 Gs. Okay, so how fast can we hit 60 miles per hour if we're accelerating at 1.336 g's? Well, here's our equation. Velocity equals acceleration times time. We know that we want to hit 60 miles an hour or 88 feet per second. Set that equal to our acceleration. So one point, uh, actually rather we're going to use that 43 feet per second. 43 feet per second squared. We're going to multiply that by time. And so we divide 88 by 43, and that gives us about 2.05 seconds. So what that means is if we were to have a vehicle which could accelerate uh, at the peak acceleration of the tires, uh, meaning 1.336 Gs, or 43 feet per second squared, that vehicle would be able to hit 60 miles per hour in about two seconds. So, you know, over time, all these supercars and crazy cars out there, they're going to start to kind of come down to this limit based on what's possible with street tires. Uh, and you're really not going to see, you know, if we do see a vehicle break two seconds, uh, a street vehicle, it's going to be extremely impressive because they're kind of breaking the laws of physics. It's probably going to be a really awesome tire. And it's also probably going to have uh, some pretty crazy downforce stuff going on uh, to allow it to do that. 
So looking at some real world examples, uh, the Porsche 918, um, some different reports out there, but some saying it can hit 60 miles per hour in 2.4 seconds. Uh, a Formula One vehicle capable of doing it around 1.7 seconds. So they're breaking the laws of physics, but they've got super sticky tires, crazy downforce, things like that going on. Mostly the tires are what's helping you at those lower speeds. Top fuel car, which just completely shatters all the laws of physics. They just have super sticky tires that kind of dig real deep into the ground so you can kind of push against it rather than just kind of slide on top of it. Top fuel car is able to hit 60 in about 0.8 seconds. Uh, both of these 1.7 and 0.8 coming from Wikipedia. Now here's what's cool right here. So two uh, automotive companies uh, that I've looked at, two journalism companies out there have reported uh, that was Autoblog and I believe Motor Authority were saying that the new Bugatti Chiron uh, is going to be capable of a zero to 60 in two seconds. Uh, and if it actually does post that, that'll be really cool because that's come to, you know, this mathematical limit, which we've determined here, uh, which would be possible using street tires. So it would be pretty exciting to see if it actually did hit two seconds flat. Um, I'm kind of skeptical. I don't know if it will or not, uh, but it would be pretty cool. And then that's pretty much our plateau. Uh, and we can leave it at there for the rest of eternity until we come up with with new technology and ways of improving zero to 60 times uh, without you know the regular tires which we're using today so thank you all for watching and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below hello everyone and welcome in this video we're gonna be talking about how to launch an automatic transmission vehicle oh man that pulls <laughs> Now the process itself is fairly straightforward, but we're going to be talking about some of the unique characteristics of how an automatic transmission works and that could help.